This is a probability course rather than a statistics course. However, there is a data set that is so closely tied to the Poisson distribution that it is worthwhile taking a look at the data set before leaving the Poisson distribution behind. If you want to look this data set up, it might be found by, by searching under horse kick data set. But here it is. Prussian officials monitored 10 cavalry corps over two, 20 years, creating the equivalent of 200 corps years worth of data. The number of annual deaths due to horse kicks, X, and the associated number of observations is given in the table below. So this table encapsulates the 200 data values and it turns out 109 of those data values are zero. No soldiers got kicked to death in 109 of the uh, core years. And in 65 of the core years, one soldier got kicked to death. And 22, 2, 3, 3. And in one of those core years, you actually had four soldiers getting kicked to death by the horses. And the question is, does the Poisson distribution provide an adequate description for this particular data set? This is something in statistics that is known as data fitting. And what we're going to try to do is fit the Poisson distribution to this particular data set. When you get to your first course in statistics, you will look at something called maximum likelihood estimators and this is a popular estimation technique there are others such as the method of moments and uh, least squares but in maximum likelihood estimators you get to calculate a lambda hat and that hat is put on by st statisticians to differentiate it from the population value lambda. There's a difference between an estimator lambda and lambda hat and the population value lambda. But in, in any case, it turns out that lambda hat for the Poisson distribution, the maximum likelihood estimator, is the average of the 200 data values. So that is, you simply take the data values and we have 109 zeros and add to that the 65 ones, add to that the 22 twos, and the three threes, and finally add in the four ones, and divide that by the total number of observations, which is 200, and that turns out to be 122 divided by 200, and as a decimal, that is 0.61. So the estimated value of lambda for this particular data set is 0.61. So on the next page, if we take a look and let the random variable x be the number of deaths due to horse kicks, per core year, then we are saying that our best guess from the data set is that x is Poisson with a parameter of 0.61, which is to say that its probability mass function will be lambda, which is 0.61 raised to the x e to the minus lambda divided by x factorial and that's good for x equals 0, 1, 2 and of course the expected number of deaths per core year is just going to be your rate lambda and that is estimated to be 0.61. It could be the case that I should be putting hats on this f and hat on the e because they are estimated from data. But if I want to take a look and see how well the fit is, here are a couple R statements that accomplish that. I first set the vector x to 0 
up to 4. So these 5 x values, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, are what I had for data, and they will go in this first column. And then I copy in my observed values from the data set. And to find out what I predict here is I take 200 and multiply it by this probability mass function, which can be found by Depois. And if you put in the x values 0 through, 5, 0 through 4, and you use a lambda value of 0.61, you will get these predicted values. And look at the amazing agreement between the predicted and the actual model. You don't expect a perfect fit, but the, the, the fit is very, very good. These observed values add to 200. If I were to put all the digits out here on these predicted values, they would add to 199.9. Why is that? We have only looked at the support on 0 through 4. For 5 and beyond, there's still some, some mass that remains out there. And that's why we don't quite add here to the uh, 200. If we took it all the way out to infinity, it would in fact add to the 200.